Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Four. We are learning Unit Four. Its title is Rashid Minhas. Today's lecture eight, my dear fellow teachers, will under the title of writing we learn about mind mapping, page number thirty four of the book, and here is the lesson plan. This lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is modified for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan, and we'll cover in grade three already under the title of writing. We have written about different things. I hope you remember. Otherwise, you may watch this video lecture again, and we'll continue this practice under this SLO. Use some strategies. to gather ideas for writing such as brainstorming and mind mapping this is our today's essay let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah yusuf verse 3 we relate to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ala ali wa sahbi wa sallam the best of the stories in what we have revealed to you of this quran although you were before it among the unaware yes my dear children this beautiful verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is brainstorming our beloved prophet hasat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa sahbi wa sallam about what allah is telling i'm going to tell you a best of these stories and whose story is this prophet yusuf alaihi salam it's a beautiful story whenever you get time you must find it so my dear children this is how before doing something or before narrating something if we say it is brainstorming okay so first you tell me what do you know about mind map and what do you know about brainstorming pause the video answer these two questions to your teacher Yes my dear students i hope you remember what a mind map is so mind map takes different step in step 1 we write the title in the center of the page okay it's in the center for example you want to plan about your birthday party so and you want to make a list of things so how would you do first of all write the the first step is write the topic in the center of the page In next step, you will draw and label the branches. Okay, so what are the branches for this activity? You need guests, you need food, drinks, theme, time, and decoration, and maybe more. So whatever you want as main thing, you will branch out with the topic in the center of the page. Okay. In step three, you will move to the next branches. For example, I've written guests over here. So, who are guests? Who are going to be guests? You need to make a list. So, you will write the guest. F in food, of course, cake is the base basic thing, and it's what the time? It's eighth May, four p.m. What is the theme? What is the decoration? So, these are main things. In step four, you will continue branching out. For example, you find out cake is not sufficient. I need more food items, so you will make a list of more things. I need more things for the theme, so you will keep on adding into the branches. So whole this process is known as mind mapping. One basic thing that's your birthday party, and what are the things main? and what how you are going to segregate all the categories this whole process is known as mind mapping and the way i'm telling it to you it is brainstorming when through conversation and at any step if i stop and I, i ask you do you want to add this and how we are going to um, plan a theme for example so all this step uh, throughout this mind mapping whatever we do through conversation with consultancy of others that is brainstorming are you clear with both of the concepts okay so what we are going to do we are going to practice what we learned just 
teacher will divide class in six groups. Okay. Each group will first write for first branch and then each student will write for the next branch. For example, I'm going to explain it to you. This is the theme I want to write about. I want to make a mind map. I perform the best when. Definitely, everyone performs different in different scenarios. So, when do I perform the best? Each group will select a scenario. For example, group one says, I perform my best when I have recently played a sport. Other may say when I have just taken my food. Other may say when I just had uh, chit chat with the. There can be many things. So six groups will mention each scenario for them. And in next round, everyone will come and uh, will draw the next branch. For example, one student say, my sport, the best sport is cricket. So when I play cricket, after that, my performance is best. The other may say football, other may say hockey, badminton, many. And likewise, all the map will be complete. So pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity. Yes, my dear children, are you done? Now, while doing the, this activity, we did mind mapping as well as brainstorming parallel to each other. Okay, so are you clear with the concept? Good job. I'm going to give you an activity in your homework. You will do question number 11 on page 33 in your books and teacher will check your books tomorrow. That is a to complete a mind map. We just practiced it. And I'm going to give you a worksheet. My dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And simply students, you have to complete this mind map and the theme is all about spring. So what we learned? We learned about brainstorming and mind mapping. And we used brainstorming and mind mapping as writing strategies for our writing today. So in this way, we achieved our SLO, that is use some strategies to gather ideas for writing, such as brainstorming and mind mapping. So are we done with it? Yes, that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lecture. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself and the people around you. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.